Hello, how are you doing this morning? Hopefully you are doing good and enjoying today. The day I'm recording this is um, Friday morning. So, uh, no, wait a minute, it's not Friday morning, it is Thursday morning and this video will be up Friday morning. And this is my um, part of the Mayday, Mayday, Never a Card When You Need One collab. And this is in collaboration with Tammy from My World in OKC and Jody from Jody's Craft Room. And I have been enjoying this uh, collaboration tremendously. I've been making some cards. I've been sending out cards as well. So I've been I've been doing great and I'm really enjoying it. And not only that, but using some of the stamps and dies that I have in my stash. So. On to the share. I am sharing with you. Um, this is a little mini card because sometimes you just want to have these little itty bitty cards to share with a friend or family member. And I love this little kitty and I colored him with um, pencils and a lot of variety of pretty bright colors. And then I made him his face mostly gray and I gave him two little rosy cheeks and then I used this um, washi that I used here is a washi from the Dollar Tree and I thought it matched really well with the flowers and the gray between the flowers was really pretty and then on the inside I wrote type uh, that didn't write or type it I stamped it a sentiment that says you're the perfect friend and I think it's so adorable and I will be putting my little label back here made by Sandra Crafty Mom and I will be sending this in some snail mail. So I thought I would make that cute little mini card and <clears throat> my second card is um, it's a tea card and I love 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 some tea and this says come oolong and have tea with me. I do love oolong tea and I think I'm pronouncing that properly, not sure, but it's a pretty teacup which with rose on it or maybe uh, some kind of flower on it. But I, I actually have a cup that's pretty similar to this one with its matching saucer that I drink my tea from and um, I put this down here so it looks like it's kind of sitting on on a table or on a counter and then I stamped the sentiment. Let me see if you can see it. There you go. I stamped the sentiment with um, Versamark ink and then I embossed it with I think it's a copper some copper toned um, embossing powder. I'm having issues getting those words out of my mouth um, and I have not written anything or stamped anything on the inside yet but I will once I know who it's going to and I will personalize it and look at this I have actually put my little um, handmade by Sandra Crafty Mom on the back of this one. <laughs> I tend to do that as a last minute thing and right before I send it I usually um, stamp that on there or uh, put that on there but I've been trying to get better about it so I got one out of the two that I made with the label so I, I'm getting there and so this one will be out as well here pretty soon to a pen friend and I will probably add a little sample of oolong tea to go with it and um, that way they can enjoy it while they read the letter I write in this card of course it just won't only fit in these in this little space here but I will add several more pages and I've actually been enjoying um, I've been coloring it's just for a little extra here for you I've been coloring um, some designs like this from color from my coloring books or I sometimes I um, get them online and I've been coloring them and then what I do is I write part of my letter in the back I will write the letter in the center here and fold this in the envelope and write it as part of my letter so normally it's not just the inside of the card that I fill. I have too much more to say um, to people that I write to just to do that one little thing. But anyhow, this is my share for this week's 
um, Mayday, Mayday, never a card when you need one. And I actually have plenty of cards now, so I've made several of them. And so I, I do have a nice little stockpile now that I can um, take from. And to top that all off, I've also been purchasing some pre-made cards that I've been um, finding um, that have been very, very pretty, and I just can't resist them, so I've been purchasing some that are pre-made. Um, but they're kind of fancier with the embossing, and they're, they have little s several different layers of, um, so they kind of pop up a little bit. So I've been buying some of those and sending those out as well. So I'm pretty well stocked now for a little while. So hopefully once these get mailed out, then I can um, go ahead and, and make some more and create another little pile again for um for sending out. Anyhow, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye now.